okay now see here suppose i am having a boiler a so what i am having having i am having the boiler a which is generating the steam of 2 tons per hour so that is the capacity of the boiler what is its pressure its pressure is 10 bar okay how much degree centigrade temperature water you are supplying you are supplying at 30 degree centigrade and what quality of the steam you are getting you are getting the wet steam whose dryness fraction is 0.8 okay 0.8 so this is the condition of boiler a now i want to find out the equivalent evaporation of this boiler a i want to find out the equivalent evaporation of boiler a so see in actual conditions what i am doing i am supplying the water at point 30 degree centigrade so this is 30 degree centigrade i am supplying the water and due to which the heat is added you will have the one point here and two point here so this is the actual condition i am having so how much heat you are adding during this actual conditions actual conditions the heat supplied heat supplied is equal to mass of the steam okay so the mass of the steam is what it is two tons okay multiply by the enthalpy at point two and minus enthalpy at point one so that is what h2 minus h1 so this is what the actual heat supplied for the boiler a actual heat supplied for the boiler a now i want to find out the equivalent evaporation for this boiler i want to find out the equivalent evaporation for this boiler so for finding out the equivalent evaporation what i have to do that i have to bring these conditions for the datum level these conditions are varying conditions so i want to make it datum level what is mean by that that suppose i am having the pressure of 1.013 bar and if i am supplying the water at 100 degree centigrade and i am getting the steam whose dryness fraction is 1 means it is a saturated conditions at 100 degree centigrade only then how much amount of the steam generated by this a boiler with this amount of the uh, heat that is called as a equivalent evaporation are you in this point see what i am saying the, this is actual condition this is are the actual conditions okay but this actual conditions the 10 bar 30 degree centigrade and 0.8 i can't compare it with the b because b is having the different another conditions so what i have to do i have to make it at the datum level i have to make it at datum level so what is the datum level datum level is considered as the pressure is 1.013 bar temperature of the inlet water this is the inlet water temperature and this is the sorry this is the inlet water conditions so what is that that is the inlet water temperature that is tw1 we can say that or t1 we can consider and this is the final conditions that is 0.2 conditions okay so that is tw t2 or we can say that the outlet conditions so this is the datum level we have decided now any boiler a boiler i am considering here you may consider b boiler c boiler d boiler you have to bring that to this datum level and you have to see that what is the me is coming if you are supplying the same amount of the heat whatever we are supplying in the a are you in this point so you can calculate it now how will you calculate it suppose i am supplying the same amount of the heat that is qs to these conditions if i am supplying the same amount of the heat to to this condition so what is this condition is in this conditions i am having the 100 degree centigrade okay i am having the 100 degree centigrade i am supplying and the pressure you see pressure is 1.013 bar so 100 degree and 1.013 bar means f point is there and i am supplying and i am getting the steam at x is equal to 1 means what that is g point is there so how much heat i am supplying I am supplying HFG for this, HFG for this. Okay, now what is the HFG value? HFG value at 1.013 bar 
if you see the steam table is 2257 it is 2257 if you see the steam table it is 2256 point something or you can say that 2257 no problem so 2257 is the value for that so in this case now in this case how much heat i am supplying i am supplying the heat is equal to mass of the steam multiply by this h2 minus h1 and that is nothing but h of g or you can say that mass of the steam into 2257 this is the datum level okay now i want to find out how much amount of the steam is generated for this datum level by equating these two equations so i have to equate these two equations so if i equate these two equations then the equivalent evaporation will comes as ms h2 minus h1 that is actual heat supplied divided by the heat supplied at datum level so whatever the steam is generated by using this datum level is called as equivalent evaporation it is called as equivalent evaporation have you got it or still you have not got 